Field check viewers, here we are with the members of Halford, otherwise known as Rob Halford and friends, I guess. So who do we have here? Bobby Jersombek. I'm the drummer. What's up, man? I'm Metal Mike Klaschuk. I play guitar. Right on, and you are? Ray Riendo, bassist. Right. Pat Lockman, guitar. <laughs> So I guess the obvious question is, how do you lucky fellows get to be in the band? Oh, uh, I was recommended by a couple of people. A guy named uh, Chris Liebengut and uh, producer Roy Z, who had saw me play when I was with Riot out, on the, out in L.A. years ago. They recommended me to Rob. I sent him a video and a couple of CDs. Rob dug it, and here I am. I came from a bunch of uh, different heavy metal bands, Roxy, The Grey Cat, I had two solo instrumental records out. Um, you know, when I was mixing my last record, I sent it to Rob. Um, you know, everything I've done was heavy metal, and Rob loved it, and you know, we came out, did some sh uh, shows, we did some songs in LA, and uh, we worked out great. That sounds good, and yourself? Actually, I've been with Rob uh, for a few years now. I was actually with two, his band, okay. prior to this. Okay. And that came out of, I was with a band called Machines 11 Grace for like five years. Oh, okay, great, great yeah. band. Yeah, and uh, that just kind of spinned off into, he needed a bass player for the tour, and our time was up, so <laughs> I hooked up with Rob, and the rest is history. The rest is history, and yourself? Uh, I was actually referred by a good friend of mine, Chris Leibengut, who writes for Rock Hard Magazine, and uh, never really wanted to be in someone else's band, but I figured it's the metal god, so I better send him a package, and... Uh, they liked it. They had me send some more stuff, some videos, some other material, and uh, they liked that. So we got together uh, just before Rob did a taping of uh, VH1, The List, and uh, the meeting went really well, and we decided to go in the studio and, and do some writing. So that went really well, and uh, again, the rest is history. <laughs> Is this record on? I've seen it, but I don't remember. It's, it's on Sanctuary Music, which is part. Uh, we're actually on a label called Metal Liz, which is a, uh, a heavy metal division of Sanctuary Records. It's distributed in the United States by BMG Distribution. So, yes, you two can find it in your local Kmart or anywhere else. So, buy the album. It's already out. The Resurrection. <laughs> Is there a two song as well, or no two songs? No two songs. Never say never, though, right? It's too bad, actually, because that wasn't a bad record. It was definitely a departure from, from what his usual thing is, but still, it was interesting. But it never really went anywhere, huh? I think the biggest thing was is uh, you know Rob's into a lot of different types of music, and, and what's cool about Rob is he's willing to you know check out different things and, and try new territory. And he did the record, and uh, Trent got involved with it, and I think it went kind of went more in a direction that got away from Rob's roots, which wasn't a good thing or a bad thing, but it just wasn't Rob, and I think he felt he wanted to get back to that. And it, like you said, it's a great record, and, and the shows were well received and stuff, but, uh, you know, it just wasn't Rob, you know, so. <laughs> Okay, so buy the records, look for your old Saxon Halloween records, and, and, and live strong. Well, guys, it's been good talking to you all. Thank you for joining us here on Reality Check.